Okay, what's up guys? I'm going to do a quick video review of my uh, rigid bandsaw. Flip this thing around. Uh, nothing too monumental here. I did have, here let's walk over, I'll show you the, the parts that I ripped off the thing pretty much right off the bat. So, the stock blade and the stock belt, Fuji belt, not so good. Um, the blade just left a really rough cut. It had a really bad uh, wander to it uh, for uh, resawing. So I have a couple of Olsen blades now um, inside, nothing too major. I did drill a few small holes just to kind of balance out this upper wheel. I have not balanced the, the lower wheel, but I'm not really having much of a problem with balance on the wheels themselves. Um, fairly typical bandsaw setup as far as these 14 inch uh, import saws in the back. You've got alignment here, tension here, nothing too surprising. Um, what I did, uh, you notice I replaced the belt. I also needed to add this piece of uh, MDF here to stiffen up this base. I mean basically what, what we were having here was a bit of kind of a wah-wah, uh, it doesn't show up to a kind of a wah-wah action where the, uh, let's see if I can, I can explain that better. Basically the uh, the the belt as it vibrated was pulling the saw towards the motor and likewise the motor towards the saw. So this whole base was kind of flexing. Um, as soon as I put that piece of MDF in there, straightened right up, not really a problem. Um, I just got this uh, Craig fence for it. Really like the fence. It was, uh, it was a good deal. Got it uh, at the end of uh, Hartville's summer closing or summer blowout sale so I got it for 25% off which is pretty good considering they pretty much never go uh, on sale. So uh, dropped some cool blocks in here, removed the stock blocks. They were kind of heavy and not really uh, not really machined too well. I mean I suppose I could have straightened those out but I didn't. Uh, dust collection on this thing. Got just a vacuum hose. Uh, it does actually work pretty good. Uh, Basically, without this hose on, I did a bunch of resawing, and this thing totally filled up with sawdust. So, just having this um, vacuum hose attached to it makes uh, makes quite a bit of difference. Uh, the saw itself. Not much vibration. Now you probably get more vibration out of just watching me hold the camera. So, uh, also not not too loud. I mean. Basically, uh, the cool blocks really help to, to quiet it down, as well as uh, keep that blade nice and aligned. Uh, on my saw, it's, I've uh, put it on an MDF base, uh, went ahead and used the, uh, the stock levelers that came with the feet. I actually mounted those with some peanuts on the bottom. Yeah, this is our newest shop helper. She's uh, apparently sniffing my fingers while I'm trying to explain this. Uh, just put some casters that I had on here. Uh, basically kind of kind of scrounged around to make a mobile base for this thing um, and it worked out pretty well this time so uh, for the most part rigid bandsaw replace the uh, stock blade throw out the stock belt um, both of those items I don't know you're looking at about 10 bucks to replace the blade and about five bucks to replace the belt throw some MDF at it and make a base um, put a fence on it, I don't know, under 500 bucks, you got a pretty decent bandsaw. I'm not really interested in adding a riser block to it at this point. Maybe if I get into resawing bigger stuff, but I don't really think this is a saw for it. Uh, we'll see. All right, hope you enjoyed watching the, the quick review of this. Uh, go ahead and ask any questions if you got them.